I'm joined by Boris. Hi, I'm Boris V13. I am uh, Maverick. We are casting uh, the third and final Dream Team game versus the Reapers. Uh, Reapers fighting to stay in it. Right, Boris? Break the math down for us. Uh, I will put on the uh, the challenge. So there are a f only a few ways, really, that Reapers go through. I'm, I'm, I believe... Yeah, Reapers would have to win both maps against Dream Team in order to go through. They would have to. The well, most likely turn of events is that Dream Team finishes first, which is already guaranteed, and that Temp Team comes out second. Now that's possible to be overturned if TNT beat Temp Team 2-0, then TNT will come out second. So really, this match matters significantly less than the uh, Temp Team versus TNT match. Should we stream that match instead? No, that's being streamed on Pavlov Master League 2. Nick is not streaming. He had some family issues come up. We are the only channel in that. That is not a true fact. Nick is not streaming, but Arctic is. Arctic is streaming on channel 2. Great. That's awesome. There are still two matches to watch. Good news. From Boris. It says we currently have zero viewers on this channel. Uh, so uh, the viewers count has not worked for me on this stream at all the entire tournament. Well, uh, it works for the other channel, but not for this one. I'd like to think that there's no one watching us. Uh, that certainly takes the pressure way down. Uh, definitely lower pressure. No, I can see that people are in the channel. Mm. I'm going to pretend like nobody's listening. I see uh, Themis, Cyrus, and Andy at least. So we've talked about Dream. Uh, we know that they like Cash. They like us too. Uh, Reapers. Let's take a look here. Reapers love sand. But they also just outperformed on Scud Hunt, so that's an expect that's a possibility. And they play well on Mirage. Fifteen played, eleven wins. What do you think that what do you think they'll ban? Are they gonna ban us too? They should. They should. There's nothing else that makes sense. I mean there's always cash. Or uh, manor. I dream yeah. team picking Manor last round. How did you feel about that? Was that a good pick? That was my pick. Oh, I loved it. It was your pick. So I was reading in the Dream Discord uh, that these guys might play Legend uh, for one of these matches. Yeah, that is a lie. But a uh, nice try, man. That's not what it says here. The last thing in the Dream Discord uh, seems to imply that it might be possible. Um, at least that's what I'm reading uh, as the last word in the Dream Discord. The world will never know. Rocket, if you're listening, uh, you guys can't lose out even if you go 0-20. So you should definitely play Legend for one of these two maps. Uh, that's coming from your captain and from your streamer. I'm going to go try to get intel on the match. On the map, I mean. Okay, you get us the intel uh, and let us know what's going on. Uh, meanwhile, I'll sit here and hit refresh and see if uh, anybody loads anything fun up. Last time only two people voted in the straw poll, so we won't do another straw poll. Uh, sorry. That wasn't super fun. Mm -hmm. 
see if we can listen to the uh, the other stream here. And let's be honest. Everybody said that Arctic was going to lose yesterday. <laughs> I'm going to get to that. So everybody did say that. So a bit about it. Yeah, everybody said that Arctic was going to lose. That's the best thing you can do. Yeah. Um, and Voltron, sadly, they thought they were going to make it. And Voltron did not. Make that was so it. mean. Wrecked finished first, Mafia finished second by and by a small uh, by a small lead over Arctic who finished third and Ultron didn't I think they won one. They won, they won one against the uh, yep. Yeah, and that was I don't know. Yeah, I think maybe Maybe, no, it was on Mafia. They won one, one game against Mafia, but they lost the other one. We lost and both of ours against Mafia. That's a, that's a big shame. Yeah, but it was so close. If we had won that one match on um, Mirage, we would have got it. We would have got in. And just having numbers play. So that's all right. Mafia's going in. Rex going in. Arctic and Voltron are out. But right now we're trying to figure out whether DT is already in. We already know that. They're first spot. Yeah. Um, right now we're trying to figure out who's going to get second. And it really depends on how well um, on how well TR plays in this next match against Dream Team. And um, how well TNT plays against uh, Temp Team. TNT can play amazingly against Temp Team. They get at least one or two. One, one game, maybe one and a half games against uh, Tony, they can possibly get that second spot because it's so close. Word. No word yet. Two, oh, the other stream is up. I've yeah. come back with zero yeah. intel. Okay, we're listening to the other stream uh, because they're talking and it saves me the effort of having to talk for us. Still no, uh, still no sight on that game on either of those games. So the teams are probably still forming together and getting in, um, getting in queues. People are still getting back from their smoke breaks. It looks like Dream Team is up. Uh, they're just waiting on the Reapers. Let's see if I can get a contact with the Reapers. They can tell us exactly. Going with those teams. I know TNT is up, so that game over there should start soon. Scorched, when you asked them about playing, uh, or Boris, when you asked them about playing Legend, what did they say? Uh, I'm pretty sure they said no way. Did you actually ask them, or are you lying to the audience? I am not lying to you. I told you they refuse all maps outside of the map pool. We take these competitions very seriously. But did you ask them this time, most recently, when you spoke to them? Yes or uh, no? I did, yes. You did. Yeah. Chewy Maluki says in the chat, Legend is a good idea. Uh, let's see. He's in the Dream Discord. Did Boris yeah. ask you about it? What? Or uh, is Chewy's he lying? Today. Is he lying on the stream? We're, We're going to find out. To We're going to find out if there's lying or if there's unfortunately dream uh, isn't going to do that I will scorch technically isn't going You never know what scorch will do no dream team but. Is ready but reapers are still Hey you're welcome to ask I ha you know I have asked Yeah it, uh, so your work here is done you're going to find out whether they do it or not you know what? We're just gonna watch. Um, we're gonna watch. We're gonna see. We're gonna comment a little bit, Boris. What else can we talk about while we wait for this match to get started? Well, uh, map choices. Okay, go ahead. Break break it down for us. So, um, Dream Team is torn between banning Mirage, or usual ban, or banning Sand, which is Reaper's best map. Um, I believe we landed on banning Sand, uh, knowing that they're probably going to counter by picking Mirage because it's our worst map. Uh, but I think we're okay with that, choosing choosing the best, uh, the worst, the best of the two evils, I guess you could say. 
But Mirage is their best map. Is it? I mean, they have 11 wins on it versus only 7 on Sam. But win percentage? 67 versus 73. I mean, it's a small a small, small. percentage. Uh, if you look at the rounds one, uh, you're looking at 59 on Mirage to 56 on Sam. Statistically, it's just a little bit better for us. Statistically, they win more rounds on Mirage than they do. Also, it's an important fact that Sam. we don't have a dedicated op in our roster today. Well, Schwartz they can do. play off. Schwartz can play off, can he? He can, but he doesn't for a reason. Well, I've seen him use the op before, and he's certainly not terrible at it. He doesn't buy it though. He'll only use it if he picks it up off a dead guy. The reason we don't do op isn't because we suck with the op, it's because it's expensive. Why isn't Chewy playing today, Boris? Chewy and Kraken are both unavailable today. Wow. That's tough. But... So this, this dream team that you've been seeing today is actually not our typical starting five, not our uh, quote-unquote best five. What is it that took both those players away on a major tournament day? Family. Family. Family men. The two of them. Uh, both with unique individual family occurrences uh, that they had to address. We're just getting ready here. I am going to go and check on the Arctic. See what these guys are talking. site join the discord there of, yep on top of that there's the uh, vr master league main site and that is here that's where you can look at teams who are playing you can um you can check out existing teams check out the current rosters and standing and uh see all the lists of members and such yep, I and can you can see you. which teams are recruiting if you're interested um in going into a team also, uh, the Arctic Discord as well, since we specialize in trying to bring in new people. Yep. We will post that. I'm going right to go get now. intel. We host uh, Open Pavlov. So we are typically play. always recruiting. We'll at least get you in as uh, a ringer, and we'll bring you into the league competitive scene. And well. uh, you make your way from there, no worries. We if just like to interested. help out. Yeah, absolutely. If it's a thing for you, definitely. You guys to play with us and see the pace at which people in the league play, which is terrifying. Oh yeah. <laughs> if you if you're just some random person playing, just you just picked up Pavlov for the first time today, and you jump in a match that's any of these guys. You you jumped in a match and Matt H is on the other team. You're going to return freaking Pavlov immediately. <laughs> you're going to back out of the lobby immediately. <laughs> yeah, you know, you're that the uh, skill level on the other team is a little bit higher. <laughs> Still waiting on this game. Yeah, we've got TNT's game going, oh. going on right now. Yeah, TNT's game has already started. So if you want to check them out on Pavlov on the uh, Pavlov Master League 1 uh, Twitch, you can. We'll post a link uh, for that please. right now. No worries. There's also a boot camp. Yes, we will. Lock, that is not wrong. As well. we'll they're at Mirage, right they have the highest of oh, yeah. round yeah. win percentage, don't they? The, uh, the Pavlov yeah. boot camp is specifically for very new players who have no idea what they're doing. Just jump in there and M pads will destroy you. and then Mirage, 59% rounds 1 versus 56% rounds 1 lock. Uh, Mirage versus Sam. Discords and websites all around. And they've played more rounds on Mirage, making it harder to have that. So, lock 604. Just spamming Boris right now. Oh my god. I see a competitive pool day. <laughs> OMG, I'm so bored. When are you guys playing? Competitive pool day, huh? Competitive pool day game. I well, wouldn't mind seeing a, um, a competitive a pool day. 
Don't don't press it. You're gonna be no. I already did. <laughs> no. Welcome to the league. <laughs> um. <laughs> Tell this. All right, we might want to back out of this and get ready for the other one. Hello. Is that one's gonna? Yes, hit any, one any second. Minute, I am hoping it is. Yes, Boris. So, um, Dream Team banned Mirage after all. Um, Reapers did not ban Dust 2, they banned Cash. And they picked Scud Hunt as their first map. Whoa! So, Scud Hunt is starting now, finding game server. Scud Hunt. Don't tell me what to do, Boris. I'll tell you when to click the button, okay? You don't tell me to tell you when to click it. I tell you that I'm going to tell you when to click it. Just uh, tell me when to click the button. Stop telling me what to do, Boris. All right, we're going to press the button here. All right, three. We're going to wait. Hold on. We're going to wait just a second. All right, I think it's good. Three, two, one, click. 22, 23. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of close on that. So Dream Team chose to start blue. Um, I kind of hate this map, so I don't play Likewise. it very much. Yeah, I mean, I mean, hit is a strong word, but I don't like how wide it is. I don't like how wide it is. The rotations are painful for me, and um, I think one of the biggest challenges for me on this map uh, is the middle section. There's just a lot to like, uh, a lot to get lost on. I think this map plays right into the Reapers' hands because they like um, ninja plays and tactical strategy and trying to get the drop on people. So big maps help with them a lot. Now you can see the Reapers going full mid. They're taking the market. Simu is going up towards A. Very slow start, no kills so far. There's a lot of peeking. Easy Rocket's going to creep up on B site, try and get down uh, Noctum and Gunner. Gets half of Noctum and backs away. Simo goes down, but so do Hatch and Scorched. Doping with that kill on Scorched. All right, it looks like the Reapers are taking A site through mid. Matt and Rocket are out of position on B site, and Rizla is all alone. That is left to clean up. Matt knows where they are, but can you do it? No, he gets taken down. That's a great starting round. It's a great start by Reapers. And I believe that's the first pistol round that Dream Team has lost this championship. Well done. Watching Scorch just sitting here with his gun aimed straight at the wall. Just waiting, patient. 
He really almost had him. I'll be right back. So a 4v3 man advantage. Uh, doping coming in with lots of utility to protect uh, the site. But not watching those doors to his left, which is where I think the enemy might come from. Watch Rizla as he tries to get into the site here. Maxis is going to take him down. Leaving only Rocket in a 1v4. And uh, he's not able to take anybody down. Reaper's up 2-0 on the undefeated Dream Team. How do you like that? You see some uh, really far utility. That stuff went out of the map, I think, Reapers, if you're rewatching this later. Uh, again, going for the middle, taking the market. Uh, while Dream Team sits in the sights. It looks like it's going to lean B. Axis and Nactum start to pinch in. <clears throat> They've got the sight. Uh, Matt H is lingering up top, but he's not doing anything, and uh, they'll get the plant. Matt's going to come down and get one, and Axis is going to get half a rocket before he goes down. Is this the round where Dream turned it around? No, it's not. Reapers secure their victory, or their lead. Uh, Nactom is uh, got a good beat on the site, and Without Clippers, uh, the blue team is at a serious disadvantage. Nactom just needs to hold his cover here. They're hunting him down. That's okay, he's going to get the bomb defusal while they do it. Or the bomb, the bomb to blow, excuse me. Oh, and he gets that the bomb to kill great. Scorched? Is that how that works? That was a great play from Nactom. Uh, here's your scoreboard. Sorry about that, folks. I know that everybody wants to see the scoreboard more often. Uh, Axis Mundy and Matt H leading their teams. I've got like a hero on every team, I think. Most of the teams, at least. Uh, on Dream Team, it's definitely Scorch. Uh, he's definitely my favorite. My favorite player on Dream. So I'm definitely rooting for Scorch. Sided or CT sided map? I don't know because I really don't play it. I think A side is very CT sided, but B side is very T sided. I not it's very weird. So we see a very spread out red team here. Simon's going to go down, which is going to put a hole in that coverage. Scorch is going to get access. Will Matt stand up and see Nactum? Matt is just waiting. How come Nactum can't see his head? He's got a very small head. Uh, if his head is hiding behind the pillar, that's why. Nakta makes footsteps. Hatch is on to him. He puts some damage down. Hatch returns fire. Matt H gets the kill.
All right, so we got a round win for Dream Team, and it's one to three. Well, it uh, looks like Reapers are financially fine. I'd have to say this is T-sided, if, if I was going to guess, um, because just because of the distance of the rotations, again. Uh, bigger maps are generally the lend to being T-sided. Now over in the other match, they're uh, tied 5-5, very close match. All these matches have been very close. Let's see if we can find doping. Mac keeps on playing that spot. I wonder if eventually Noctum's just gonna frag him out. All 10 players still alive, uh, pretty deep into the match here. And the Axis, getting easy rocket down. 3v4. As the red team's going to shift over towards a site. Hatch in the site. Simu backing off, actually, from the smoke. That comes going to come in above Hatch, but Hatch is on it, on the angle. And it's now 2v4. We see Rizla over here on this other side of the the map that's incredibly difficult to get to. See, this to me is like such a CT side site too. But, but it's just so far from the other ones, I guess. All right, so we're going to see a widespread blue defense from Dream Team as uh, the Reapers move towards controlling market. Gunner very late out of spawn. I wonder if Easy Rocket's going to loop around and end up meeting him. Uh, you see them moving over towards A site. All 10 players still alive as Easy Rocket positions for a what looks to probably be a late flank here. I like how slow Reapers are playing. They're not letting them get quick pick. Yeah, I mean, if I'm Dream Team, I'd probably start fragging market about right about now. Right. Repeat that, you cut out. If I'm Dream Team, I'd probably start fragging market at the beginning of the rounds, because they're all just running in the market and staying in there. Um, a lot of nice places for grenades to land there. Matt just waiting in the balcony and takes them all out from that spot. But doping there to, to kill him. And sword. Rizzle alone. One on one, but doping has the sight. Alright, doping now Bomb has the clock on his, on his side. Rizla doesn't even, doesn't pick up those clippers. I think that's kind of weird. If he's going to save, why not save the clippers? Uh, he shouldn't be saving. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. You should take him down. Well, then why not go in with the clippers just in case he gets an empty bomb site? Yep. At this point, he doesn't even have much time to defuse. I think he has to... Yeah, he's just backing away. He's not going to go for it. I think maybe he's low on health, and since he, he's just un not sure that it's worth it. Should have taken those clippers into the next round, my man. I agree. Could have also gone to corpse hunting for God. Corpse hunting with Boris. Scoreboard, please. Boom. Axis Mundy, 6 and 5. Matt, 8, 6 and 4. Gunner and Rizla bringing up the rear.
Scorch is kind of unexciting at 2-2. Two and two. Usually uh, you'll see him towards the top. Uh, here we go. We're going to watch as Reapers stack up inside a market again. Timo goes down early. Did I hear the bomb go down at B or no? I'm pretty sure I've been going down for Reapers this round. Hatch, I think, saw doping. Yep, and take them down as well. Max is alone. One in no one knows five. Where he is. Hatch might unwittingly run into him. Oh my gosh, he's right there. I don't even Matthew understand. Him. How did Mac get him? Uh, so Noctum went for Hatch's back, got half of Hatch, but Matt got him one tap to the head, saved Hatch's life. He saved Hatch's life. Hatch now owes Matt. What I like to call a blood deck. Uh, bro, um, temp team are likely to advance, but if TNT 2 0 them, then they will not advance. TNT will advance instead. Correct, Locke. Dream, for Dream Team, this match doesn't matter. Kind of like the last match for Rex last night. It mattered less. It mattered less for Dream Team than it did for Rex. Correct. But I don't think the Dream Team Dream Team couldn't can't lose. Rex still could have lost. They had to win five rounds. Dream Team has to win zero rounds. Locke, uh, what do you think about playing Legend next round uh, for, you know, since it really does matter? What did Locke say? He said yes. Gonna go down early in the 4-4. Now the other match is 7-7 seven, seven against Town Team 1 and TNT, who have, both have everything to fight for. Hatch. Beast mode. Oh! Hatch standing up on the board there uh, and peeking, killing Axis right in the head. I don't think Axis could get his gun high enough to shoot him, uh, and I think that's uh, bad news. I agree. My uh, Hatch does go down to Noctum. And then Noctum goes down to Matt while trying to plant. He does not pull off the plant. Uh, which gives them the win. Matt, Matt kills Timo. So that's 5 4. <laughs> very close match on a very close map. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Uh, 5 to 4. Uh, let's see if it's truly T Sider. Uh, I'm going to anticipate 6 T wins here. I'm calling it. Now it's 8-7 eight, eight, TNT winning. Two very close games to decide this group. Grizzly gets shot by doping from across the map. 
as Jason go full A, except for Rocket is doing a very slow flank through B, trying to get knocked him off guard. It does look like the strategy is working. It's the strategy of shooting the other guy in the face before he shoots you. Yep, and then if if the other four don't make it, Rocket's gonna be right behind them. And that's that. Dream Team does not lose a single player, gets all the money with all the kills and the bomb plan. And Matt H was stealing utility like the thieving little Irishman that he is. That's a smart move. Now, why is Rocket, I guess, oh, because Rocket was flanking. He's the only player who didn't get a kill. And Rocket is Welsh, I think. Uh, Rocket is German. Rocket is might be from Germany, but he ain't German. Or he might live in Germany, but he ain't German. Have you ever heard the guy talk? Uh, citizenship, yo. Nationality. Right, but he is English. Right, just like an Italian person that was born in America is still Italian. I don't know what his heritage is, but he refers to himself as German, so out of respect to the man, that's what I would call him. Um, TNT, or, um, sorry, Tempson 1 gets around back, so it's 8-8 eight, eight there. 8-8, eight, eight, very close. Matt H leading the charge, 16 and 5. You don't see a lot of 3 to 1 KDs in a league play. Uh, yeah, except for the uh, chill steps and the mats in the world with uh, 8.0 KDs. Let's follow Mr. Matt, uh, see if we can spot out uh, his technique. What is he doing? How is he winning? What makes him so much better than me? Other than that I have poor vision and slow coordination and bad reflexes. I'm not sure that it's any of those things though. Looks like Reapers went with a half buy and it's not paying off. Doping and Gunner go down real fast from uh, Matt. Um, and then Dream Team should be taking A site any second now. It's going to be interesting to see if Simu takes his AK. Simu sure comes in anymore. with a rifle and no armor and uh, bests Matt easily. Gets Rizla from long range. Scorch decided to run away and his partner gets shot in the back while he does so. Scorched voted off of Dream Team officially. All right. And gets picked up by Avalanche. Timo goes down to Rocket's flank, but Noctum knows exactly where he is. Rocket manages to escape. Noctum, does he have clippers? He doesn't. That's the other it. match is 9-8 on match point. TNT, uh, to Temp Team 1. Three out of five T sided victories down. But I think they're going to get two more in a row here. Uh, we're going to see a save round from the Reapers. Uh, this will play out quickly. Although I don't see any guns. Uh, oh, yeah, they'd have guns. What am I looking at? We see an extremely spread out. Look at how spread out this T side attack is as they just mop up moving from right to left on this map here. Axis stalking with the knife slowly. Easy Rocket's going to shoot him though as he comes around this corner. No. He didn't go that way. Uh, TNT 
have lost their opening map, which means they're out of this championship officially. Rip TNT. Great oh, competition. Oh, bummer. They should play Legend for their second map. That would be so fun. I'm going to message Lucky. Well, the thing is, uh, that's not fair to Temp Team 1, who still have everything to play for. Well, if they agree to it, it's fair. Uh, good. good luck with that, bro. Well, I've messaged Lucky. We're going to see what he says. Dream came coming back hard, uh, playing the T side of this map brilliantly, coming back from losing 4-2 to winning 9-4. Seven consecutive round wins. <coughs> Scorched all alone in a 1v4. Make that 1v3. Now he's going to pick up the bomb. Does anyone in the chat think he's going to do it? Gunner takes him down. Picks up a rifle for two rifles for a fall of comrades. The Dream Team dips into the bank for a full buy. We're watching Gunnar Raleigh uh, as he tries to lead his team with a full buy back to victory. He's going to blindly flash through the smoke. It bounces back at him. I don't know how he didn't get flat. Timu going with the auto sniper. It's a very rare gun to see competitive play, but can be very effective. Unfortunately, he goes down to it. Two versus one, doping alone. Wow. Doping flashes himself. He doesn't have clips. He better get in there. And start that fuse. Zero, but it's not, it's not working. Oh, he does have clips. But it, it will, they, they knew. Not and enough that, smoke. Dream team have secured number one. Temp team has secured number two. The last maps for both matches don't have any consequence, but great games nonetheless. Dusty says sign up for the try to kill Matt League. Matt goes 20 and 8. Right. Reaper's able to break his 3 to 1 KD right, and bring him down to just a lowly 2.4 or something like that. 2.5. 2.5, yeah, exactly. There it is. First game, it's done. Uh, let's see what map they play for the second match. Boris, what map are we going to see here, buddy? Um, maybe Legend. <laughs> now it's official that Reapers have nothing to play for, whereas... The well, you, map can one can you jump into the voice and suggest to your team I, that maybe I, they do it for me, please? Thank you. Go. 
Go. I'm going to ask Scorch later if you did this. Okay? Oh, man. Please. All right. Hello. Rocket, go play Legend, please. Uh, as much as we'd like to, we're probably not going to end up doing that. There's, You have nothing to lose, and they have nothing to play for. They're out. You've we, already we won. We've got loads to lose, dude. We, uh, we need to stay below, like, 10, uh, 10 rounds lost. You lost can't. Here. You could lose every round and... Nah. Oh yeah, no, that is not gonna happen. All right, get out of my <laughs> get out of my chat then. If you're if you're not willing to to be nice and to to help, uh, then you have to leave. All right, see you later. Oh, you don't have to leave. I was just kidding. God damn it! Look what you did, Boris. You made him leave. Uh huh. That's okay. I've messaged Scorched. I have faith that Scorched is going to get it done. Right, let's take a look at the rankings. Uh, Boris will talk us through it. Tell us what's happening. Boris, tell us, uh, tell us what this math looks like here. Boris isn't here, so uh, he must be over in the Dream Discord talking to them. Uh, we've got... I, I think it's pretty much just Temp Team and the, the re and Dream, right? Just got a notification from Scorched uh, that they might be playing Legend next map, so very excited to hear that. What time is it in Australia right now? It's 3.30 p.m. in Australia. It's eight hours behind us in a day in the future, right? So it's like 7 a.m. there on, on Monday. Uh, I'll bet you Dean's at work. All right, we're waiting for Boris. Uh, he is apparently um, doing the work of God or something. Uh, he said he was on a mission. I'm not sure how to take that or what it means. Uh, but we're waiting for him to come back uh, as we also wait to see what is going on uh, and what maps are going to be played. So it looks like TNT and uh, Temp Team have jumped into Mirage and that they'll be getting that done. Except for Lucky, does some damage and Siege Wind takes him out. All now right. Siege Wind and Alexander versus four of TNT's finest. Oh yeah. I think um, <laughs> freaking TNT has this in the or has this round in the bag. Siege Wind just needs to save that M4 and sit in the corner. Yeah, he's definitely gonna save. Yep. Strong start for but, TNT, two rounds in, oh yeah. with lots of guns to check that out, M4s and AKs and a P90 for the low cash guy. They're really in a good spot on the third round. Most of them have their armor as well. All um, right, so we've just been listening to the Arctic yeah, cast all, here. Boris is back. Uh, we'll, back. We'll pause. The last time I asked for you, we kindly asked the Reapers, and they all in chorus with a disgusted reaction said no. So then that was kind of like a yes. Uh, sure. 
great. I actually got scorched in on it, but uh, it didn't work out. Sorry. Well, the Reapers yeah, are the, uh, the, the TNT, Reapers are all terrible people. Um, the the TNT match has started. TNT are up two zero, but they're also reminded, running around none with, of these, with knives none in of their these hands. Not matter. Uh, they're running around with knives in their hands. They clearly don't care. Uh, so kind of a bummer uh, that these last two matches don't matter, um, but dominant showings. Uh, have led us to where we are, I guess. Take us through the numbers, Boris. Uh, I've got them up on the screen here. So, Dream Team has a bunch of map wins. T Temp Team 1 has three map wins now, and uh, Reapers and TNT cannot possibly get three map wins, even if they were to win both of their maps right now, which guarantees Temp Team 1 a spot. Uh, coming out second out of the group, playing wrecked in the semifinal. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, Temp Team One will be playing wrecked in the semifinal, and Dream Team will be playing Mafia in the semifinal. That will be next Saturday. Please tune in. Nice, nice. So uh, we'll just wait for this last game to start, uh, and then we'll, uh, yeah, we'll commentate it. We'll see uh, if people watch. Uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah. If there's some antics. They are doing Dust 2 as their last map. What a terrible and unimaginative choice uh, for a map that I doesn't agree, matter. I agree, actually. Uh, shame on you, Reapers, uh, for not trying to showcase a new map uh, and uh, do the League a favor. Bummer. Boo. I wonder why Dream Team chose Dust 2. Is it just because they know they're going to win, or is it because they want to make sure that everyone bans Dust 2 for the rest of the tournament? Maybe they just want to stomp. Uh, they're they're going to start T, so I doubt that they're going to stomp on EU against the Reapers on a disadvantaged side. Only time will tell. I do see a live cyberpunk lobby. I can confirm they haven't started yet. Well. I mean, this is amazing. How do you get out of this room, though? Look at the map design and some of the graphics coming in on some of this stuff. I mean, this is very cool. Uh, too bad there doesn't seem to be more of a map here, though. Maybe I'm missing some of it. But it seems just kind of like a hallway to me. Uh, Boris, are you still there? I am indeed. What are they doing? I don't see a, a game going on here. They're in lobby. Are you seeing what I'm streaming here? This is... It's pretty amazing.
I mean, look at some of these, like, some of these places are really detailed. All, these rooms are all done on the inside. Some of them. I'll be right back. I mean, this isn't weird at all. Hey, they just started dust too. Tell me when to click the button. All right, ready, and uh, three, two, one, click. All right, so we've left uh, that craziness, and we are here on the final map of the day. As we'll see Dream Team storm across Catwalk. Hunter, Simu, and Pink holding the space. Tommy, he's got the info to come to be. Dream Team is just out shooting them. Dream Team gets it. So Dream Team wins that round. It's been a long weekend of streaming. Thank you for everybody that's watched. Uh, a lot of these matches were really exciting. This one, unfortunately, not as exciting. But uh, let's see what happens here as Dream Team storms uh, towards the A side of the map. We'll see Scarts push doors. Gunner stops short of the corner, it looks like. But they're going to meet each other real soon. Scorch comes around. No damage. Takes Gunner out. And he's going to have some info from that, though. So we'll start to see Simu. Pink. Yeah. We see the entire blue team start to move over towards a site. And Simu looks to hold it from short A. Simu's dead. So it's really just up to Tum now. As he finds himself in a 1v dream team. Uh, not a good position to be in. Uh, we'll watch as Tom hides. Uh, this is a pretty good spot. Pretty unlikely to find somebody here. He thinks about just killing himself. But instead, we will count down the bomb time. Scorched with a 6 and 0. And Simu, the only one on the scoreboard after two rounds on the Reapers. Uh, we do find ourselves on the European server. Uh, how does that impact play and strategy for us? Strategy specifically, I think we all know how it impacts play. Well, strategy, they're going to have to hold tight angles, tight short angles. Why? Tell me why. Well, uh, the, the P90 players, Axis and Gunner, they don't they don't have much of a choice. Now, Simo and Tum should be playing the long angle punch and catwalk. Why? Tell me why. Explain it to me. Like, I don't know. Uh, rifles are good at long range, and SMGs are good at short range. Right, but what does that have to do with being on the European server? Uh, I, I doesn't. I would do the same thing regardless. 
but the question was, how does being on the European server affect strategy? Oh, I miss I misheard the question. I'm sorry. Well, then the um, last thirty uh, seconds well, is put into perspective. Finally. Uh, it affects Dream Team strategy more than um, more than Reaper strategy. The Dream Team strategy that I've seen so far is sending Matt and Rocket forward, so they don't have to deal with the lag. They can make the call out even if they die. Um, but if they do encounter someone, they have a much greater chance of winning the one-on-one -on -one engagement. Rizla alone, uh, he's gonna try to push up long A. He knows Gunner's there, because Gunner's just standing out there waiting, uh, but takes advantage and shoots him with the P90. Scorched seven and one. He's on a terror. Uh, we are looking forward to. It looks like Easy Rocket uh, might be playing Chill Step Coder uh, here in the final of the PDL. That's going to be a best of five match. Uh, so those guys will be playing. They'll be streaming that individually, uh, and I think that's going to happen tonight. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, we'll see them. That's the first PDL tournament. Uh, and there's like $100 in Steam gift cards on the line. Uh, not bad for a free league. And you know the benefit of the 1v1 league, Boris? You don't have to split that prize with anybody. If you win, it's yours. I'd give it right back. Well, Boris, I think the chances of you winning any prizes are pretty low. So um, oh, thanks. It's, easy, it's easy for a guy like you or a guy like me to say he'd give it back uh, when he has a very low chance of winning, right? Uh, I could never win. I wish I could win. I wish I was good enough, but I play against guys like Scorch, Chill Step, Matt, and they just mop the floor with me, man. Just mop the floor. Although I have beaten Easy Rocket a few times. I will say that. All these players are human, to my knowledge. Scorched with the revolver. Tom with a rifle is going to hide again all the way in the back of the site this time. We'll see Matt H and Easy Rocket spend this time picking up guns and defending the site. Zero chance of anything exciting happening for the next 10 seconds. Correct. You know, it's surprising to me that Tom would play that so conservatively. I think in this situation, in a game that doesn't matter, I'm balls out just going to run in there with a knife in one hand and a rifle in the other. Um, try to make it fun at least. I, I don't know. I wouldn't have hit there. Definitely the right move, but I don't know if it was I the think, right choice. I think Reapers are going to take this seriously even though it doesn't matter. That's just the way they are. Easy rocket gets them. Plus, this is good competitive. Oh, look at Simon. Look at Zemo. Yes. That was awesome. I don't know how they didn't see him there. Ah. Dream team running in to an empty A site. Axis. All the way up at mid. He's dead. And Tom alone in B site. What's Tom going to do this time? 1v4. Is he going to hide? Oh, 
very unexciting. Rocket, unsatisfied, he's going to go hunting. All right, four to one. Dream Team uh, taking the clear majority of rounds here on a map that's widely considered CP-sided in its Pavlov iteration at the very least. You see Axis get a solid smoke at mid. And Dream Team sets up to camera left on A side. Tum falls victim to blind shooting through smoke and doors uh, after being spotted. And the rest of Dream is going to slowly push up Catwalk. Rizzle doing a very good job of watching the bat. Rizzle versus Gunner. And they trade out. Trade goes in favor of the Reapers. And the round's going to go to the Reapers, exactly, yeah. Alright, looks like another A side setup. As we'll see, Matt H and Scorched pushing the doors. Light and Gunner up. Matt's got the bomb, he's way back behind Pit. And he throws the bomb into Pit. Not good play. But apparently Rocket wanted it. Matt putting some good damage down on Simu. And Axis has like one HP and it looks like he's over by car. Now he's behind the dumpster. And now he's dead. 4v2. As we look to see the seventh round closed out with a tremendous amount of utility flying into A site. A good frag or two though could really put a damper on Dream Team's day here. Very true. Hum, enduring a maelstrom of bullets. Uh, stays alive, gets another pick. It kind of looked like Tom was wall hacking there, I'm not going to lie. He was like shooting through the wall, tracking the guy that he couldn't see, and then he realized there was a wall there. He was like... Bub -bub -bub.
All right, we'll watch another A-sided setup with all of Dream going to the right. I've noticed that there's not any uh, spawn shooting coming from Dream Team Boris. What can you tell me about that? How come I don't see anyone lighting up mid with AKs? Uh, I think they're trying to be more organized play style of just going to win the traditional. Well, you know what they're also doing is they're they're usually you stop people from moving over to B and you end up with a stacked A side, but. They're letting two players from the Reapers cross every time, which is giving them an easier A site. Pink will run right out. Up CT ramp. Uh, won't work out well for him. And we'll watch three Dream players dig in as Tum, the only one left alive again. Tries to uh, tries to survive. Tum with a he has an uncanny ability to survive. Looking at our scoreboard here, only three deaths compared to eight for most of the rest of the team and six from Gunner. Tum is uh, way more aware and slow and tactical player. He's a survivor. He doesn't. Yeah, he he doesn't uh, go into engagements that he knows he's going to lose. Thank you, Mike. Rizla almost got there. Two to six. Uh, this is the last round before the fabled switch. TNT is up nine to five on Mirage. Gunner goes down very fast. Uh, Boris, uh, I accidentally fucked something up, so I, I'm at 45 seconds on that. That last round. Okay, uh, hit L until you go live. Uh, the next round, this round just started. Um, I didn't know that's what L did, but okay, so I'm hitting L again. Okay, it says a minute. Uh, um, I just started the pistol round, so. Uh, it's already over. Well, I just started it. What do you want me to do? Here, Why don't let's... you do the you do the talking? Just pretend it's live. Okie dokie, so that's what I was doing anyways, so no change. Um, we're going to see the Reapers uh, push on an 
A side setup. They're through the doors. Matt H uh, holding from dumpster, but he's got the info now. I don't think this pink new Rizzo is there, uh, or that it mattered. As Matt H mowed him down. The Reapers retreating and caught in a terrible crossfire as Easy Rocket comes around through doors. Another A side setup, it looks like. Axe is doing some shooting down mid to try and keep some people from crossing there. Uh, and we'll see that it gets scorched in V. If it hatch stays and holds CT. Easy's gonna push Catwalk and create quite a mess, uh, wiping out four of the other team. He would have gotten access, but access was across the map. It looked like so. Fifteen and four for Easy Rocket. Uh, he was eleven and four until about a minute ago. Nobody positive on the Reapers. Uh, really struggling even on the home server. The other match is done, TNT did win. TNT won, and what does that mean for us? Anything? Nothing. Means nothing. It means that TNT has some pride left. Uh, we're gonna watch and... Gunner go down. But Rocket pushing out. If that is, is is Russian catwalk part of the impenetrable defense? Or is I think I think it's situational. <laughs> he knows where he is. We watch as they retreat back to the site. Uh, and then right as I say that Matt or Matt and Rocket are go, gonna go hunting. And it appears that my uh top TV is frozen. Or the match ended, and I just wasn't caught up to it. So, I think that for us, I think they won. Yeah, they were done for a while on my end. Oh, okay. Well, that I don't is. I want to spoil it. That's the end of that. Um, who advanced for us? Dream Team and Temp. Correct. Dream Team and Temp are going to be going off against Mafia and Wrecked. Boris, do you have any predictions uh, for that? Well, uh, the predictions, the statistics are that Dream Team and Wrecked advance to a very grand best of five final on Sunday. You've completely counted. Excuse me. So you've completely counted out uh, Mafia and. Uh, Nope, that's not what I said. And Tempty. They've got no chance. They, sh they shouldn't even show up according to you. What would you say if we just canceled the whole thing and we had scorched Greco-Roman wrestle Chillstep? I think Matt and Chillstep have a greater competitive rivalry in a one versus one environment given PDF. Yeah, but Matt is like a toothpick and I'll bet you that Scorch knows how to fight. I bet Matt you know, knows how to bite. You know what? You know who I'll bet you the best like bare knuckle brawlers that you have are are probably Chewing and Kraken. I'd put those two guys in a fist fight against any three guys in the league. All right, audience. Thank you so much for watching. Please tune in next Saturday. I'm gonna go congratulate my team on their victory. Congratulations to all Thanks, the players. Man. Thanks for watching.